Hi guys, I am hyped for today's video because I have waited so long to share this. I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite Korean skincare products along with my Korean skincare routine. Now, obviously, these are these are not the only products that I use. I have a lot of other drugstore affordable products. So I'm going to make that version too. But as of now, these are the products that I'm obsessed with. I'm addicted and obsessed with Korean skincare, not because of the hype and how popular it is, but the way it has worked for my skin, the way it has actually worked for my skin. I got a whole bunch of Korean skincare that works for my skin. Now, my skin is dry, it's sometimes sensitive and sometimes here and there. And once in a while, I do get acne. So that's how my skin type is. It's mostly dry. I'm not an oily skin type. So keep in mind before you try any of these products, this is just purely based on my skin. What are my skin goals? My skin goals is definitely hydrating. I want all the hydration in the world for my skin. I definitely want products in my routine that is soothing, that is calming. Also works for my skin barrier and strengthening my skin barrier. And sometimes my skin looks so dull that I definitely want some brightening properties. So these are my skin goals. So whenever you are going for any skincare product, make sure that you know what your skin goals are so that you get the best out of everything. So many of you keep asking for my skincare routine and it's updated every now and then. If you want and if there's a good discount on these products, you can buy it from the Nika, Nika Pink Summer Sale. It's going on right now. So if you get a good, good discount, definitely buy it. If not, then there are so many sites there are so many other places you can find this at a really good discount. As per the ritual, a separate pink summer sale recommendation is coming soon. It's going to be a little, it's going to be a little bit late. So I hope you're going to wait. But you can consider, you can even consider this as a skincare recommendation video. Obviously, first I'm going to talk about cleansers and only and only oil cleansers. You can see how I'm obsessed with cleansing oils because they have worked beautifully for my skin the only type of cleansing product that i want to use on my skin is cleansing oils also because i have dry skin but these work equally good for all skin types let's talk about the first one that i've been using for the longest time this is the shop rice butter white cleansing oils i have used so much of it and this has never disappointed me it has a little bit of fragrance but it removes my makeup one thing that i would like to add is that it does sting my eyes a little bit so i do not use this around my eyes and i'm good to go for the rest of my face this works amazingly removes every bit of makeup and it's very 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 lightweight yeah this has been like an old favorite but so so good my next cleansing oil is the Celimax fresh blackhead jojoba cleansing oil they say this is specifically for blackheads i've used it all throughout april so i so i feel like it's too soon to tell other than that, the way, again, this removes your makeup, it's very, very lightweight. And you know what with this, when you emulsify it with water, when you dampen, dampen your skin, it converts into this beautiful, light, milky consistency, which I feel so good, which I feel so good for my skin. Obviously, you have to, with all of these cleansing oils, you have to follow it up with a second cleanser, water-based cleanser. And in general, also, double cleansing is really good to get, to get rid of your clogged pores, to remove blackheads to have basically have better skin this particularly does, does not have any kind of fragrance which i love this is again another favorite for sure the third cleansing oil which is like my new favorite this is the claire's gentle black fresh cleansing oil this is something that i very very recently tried disclaimer for this one i've only used it like three four times it's a little bit thicker i will say the consistency is a little bit thicker than the other two that i've showed but again it feels so lightweight and hydrating for my skin the way this emulsifies the makeup is so good now the favorite thing about this product is that it does not it did not hurt my eyes even a little bit so i can very easily use it around my eyes it did not sting my eyes it removes my makeup it does not leave any residue but even if any cleansers leave residue do not leave residue you have to follow it with up a uh, second cleanser and this is uh, this is probably my favorite out of the three i think the other one is deep cleansing oil which comes in a dark bottle um but this is the one that i wanted to try i love how it's fragrance free it's mild the thing about korean skin products is that it's mild it's really gentle on the skin but it's so effective I told you how important it is to have a second cleanser i have two recommend i have 
I have these two that I use and so many affordable indie brand cleansers that I use on an everyday basis but when it comes to Korean cleansers these are the two ones that I have or a face shop for a bright foaming cleanser so these are both foaming cleansers I'm yet to find a gentle Korean cleanser this one I've been using for years and years and years and years and it again has never disappointed it has a very nice cherry blossomy fragrance like but very very mild and this still date works equally good for my skin i do not use these cleansers on an everyday basis i only use this when i want a second cleanser for my double cleansing only then i use homing cleansers otherwise since i have dry skin i want something more like a cleansing milk something that's more gentle like a mild cleanser like the simple one the set of full and this has never disappointed me i have gone through tubes and tubes of you also have a kit where you get the cleansing oil and the foaming face wash in mini so you can definitely try it for yourself before you buy the full size a very nice creamy creamy cleanser that really cleans my skin when i use this my face feels so so squeaky clean but does not dry out my skin so i had just been sticking to this with time i got kind of bored of this one so i want to try something from cosat x this is again a really 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 popular product I knew this was meant for more to a uh, combination to oily skin but I really wanted to try it because salicylic acid cleansers I've used in the past and they have worked pretty good for me. This is the Cosrx Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser. It's 0.5% salicylic acid. It's again a new cleanser that I've tried and I've actually really really liked it. It's really similar. The consistency of these two is really similar. This, but this one is fragrance free of course and it really really foams up. It's creamy. It's beautiful. And the best part is that it does not strip off my skin off the moisture really really keeps my skin hydrated it does not dry out my skin so i obviously need one cleanser like this like a foaming one um i don't use this every day of course but i feel like if you have oily skin this is gonna be a blessing for your skin the cleansing to ho gaya ye sab ho gaya but my most favorite part about korean skincare products is their toners and you can see how obsessed i am like I have like four to five toners in my routine and I'm not even kidding. I layer it and by the way, I love, love layering toners. I love the seven skincare method. I don't, I don't necessarily layer it seven times, but four to five times I layer it. I love it. I love how my skin feels so hydrated and when I wake up the next day, my skin just feels so soft and bouncy and plump the other day. Now, when I've used a cleanser, I need the moisture back to my face. I need the hydration and these work beautifully. If you have not incorporated toners in your skincare routine, this has to get you to it. Toners are also known to make your the rest of your skincare products that you use in your routine work efficient, more efficiently and absorb way more better. I, I'm going to say my favorite for all these four toners. This one, the Claire's. I've been a fan of Claire's yes, skincare. They just have the best products ever. The Claire's Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. This worked beautiful in hydrating my skin. It calms and soothes my skin whenever I use this. After I, in the morning routine, after I'm done with a gentle cleanser. This is unscented variant and I love it so much. It's such a nice formula. I don't like using very, very watery toners. I need that some kind of texture to my toners, a little bit viscous or viscous or a little bit milky and this one is a very viscous California texture it's not very watery it's slightly thicker this is the mini i'm definitely going to be buying a full size this one i highly recommend another viral product that i ended up loving is this one this is the i'm from rice toner lightweight milky toner this is the one to go for if you know you know this product has been popular all over instagram but but even before being popular on Instagram, it was popular on TikTok, which we don't have. I have tried all kinds of milky toners. I have tried lightweight milky toners that is really watery. I've tried really sticky, thick milky toners. And this one is the lightweight one. This was love at first sight. The moment I used it, it instantly made my skin so dew, so glowy, so dewy, so hydrated. I think this has 77% rice extract, which is known to, rice is known to, brighten your skin and rice is an ingredient so popular in Korean skincare and this is going to work for all skin types because of its lightweight property I can't stop using it now with these two toners these are again milky toners and these are my old favorites I've been using this for a while the first one is the ceramide mochi toner I'm going to be honest out of all the toners that I've shown you um this is the one that I reach out to the least because 
or the fragrance love how this feels on my skin it's lightweight it's beautiful it's milky it's not very it's not a it's not a very lightweight thin toner but it's not thick it's right in the middle 500 ml and i'm sure in the nika sale that they they show some 30 40% discount it's going to last me for two years so this will last me i'm really really used to using fragrance free skin care at this point one has a really lemony not lemony but like a zesty lemon fragrance um that's a really citrus if not more i use it twice in a twice thrice in a week and i do love it since i have bought it i will use it i will use it since i have bought it if i had to compare between the four toners this will be my last one but it's a good toner if you don't mind a fragrance last toner is obviously has a very very special place in my heart because this is the first toner that i ever used this is the product that actually got me into exploring and using toners this is the laneige cream skin refiner many iske sub versions use kiya smaller one the spray one um the older version this is a newer version and i actually do really like it this one is a more lightweight one that's it's kind of very it's kind of different from the old version fragrance free it's beautiful it just delivers this is the consistency of the toner it's very very lightweight i've used up three three four bottles of this one so you know i love this a lot that was all about toners moving moving on to the next product is an essence this is the this needs no introduction cosrx 96 snail nuisance powder scent some of my product recommendations never change and i've been and i've been talking about these the, these products for years and years and this one is one of them i've spoken about this years and years and this product had changed has changed my the way my skin feels and looks i had really bumpy rough texture i think it was before last year given to this obviously because it was so popular but ek ek do reuse mein nahi hone wala you have to use it for a long time to see results but for me it started my skin felt started feeling so much more smoother and even um again not in terms of how it looks but how it feels like when i fe- felt my skin i could feel the bumpiness i could feel the roughness and this totally helped me with that i know i can genuinely say it because this was the sole product that i was using that i was using at that time I have used it up. This is obviously not the product that I use every day, not something that I use every single time, but I always need a backup of this because I never know when my skin needs it and my skin always needs this at some point. So I always keep a backup. I also know for some people how this product has not worked for whatever reason, but if snail mucin is not your thing, you can try the Mecky but Mixon Bean Essence. That is like a alternative for this one. Gel based but it's slimy. Um apart from the hydration that it this gives. Oh my god, how my skin feels so soft, very very hydrated, but obviously it does not feel too much on the skin skin never felt better um, without any product but this one another product in the same line is this all in one cream uh, we've come into moisturizers by the way this is the only moisturizer that ha- i have been using this since that i have got it this is the cosrx snail all in one cream gel based moisturizer this is how it looks it's really really it has the same it's it's a snail mucin cream so it's like the same texture really really sticky and gooey i really like using this in the summers the combination of this two oh my god if you want the glowy plump looking skin the combination of this is incredible also this can get a little bit messy when you use it because i always end up spilling it quantity that you get is really good so for whatever the price you're paying this it's worth it the second last category which is sunscreen after toner sunscreen korean sunscreens are my favorite because out of all the ones that i've used everything is so hydrating everything is so good for your skin everything is so soothing everything is so gentle um there is absolutely no white cast with the ones that i've used i have not experienced any pilling and love how well it sits underneath my makeup and these are my favorites uh, the first one is the bureau jason you can see how much i have used this um a bb i use this once in a while when i'm feeling like it underneath my makeup specifically because it's so dewy it's so moisturizing it looks beautiful and glowy whenever i use this my skin my makeup always looks very very glowy probiotics and rice it is spf 50 pa triple plus then i tried this one recently these two the first one is the insti this is like a mini that i got but i have tried this sunscreen in the past and this is again a beautiful sunscreen 
very very dewy it's more moisturizing obviously um so dry skin you're gonna really like this, this is the industry hyaluronic acid watery sun gel it again has a 50 pa plus 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 uva uvb once i'm over with the sunscreens i'm gonna buy a full size of this because i really really like it it's fragrance free again no white cast it's like a dream sunscreen and this one this is the round lab this again a very very popular sunscreen in korea this is the round lab a moisturizing birch sunscreen you can see how similar these packagings are i believe the manufacturers are also the same so it makes sense now the difference that i find in between this is that this one this one is a little bit more creamier than this one this one is a little bit just a little bit lightweight other than that i feel like there's no other than that other than, other, other than that i feel like there is almost no difference between these two sunscreens both are fragrance free this has a creamy texture mm, it has high protection it's wash it's hydrating it's glowy this my skin looks so so glowy whenever i use this i have this sun stick which is the thank you farmer sun stick sun project silky calming sunscreen and i have used this very less because i use sunscreen sticks my sunscreen sticks what can use got to i usually use my trusty liquid sunscreen it is magical i have makeup on but this no matter what does not transform to the stick this does not move my makeup at all particularly when you have makeup on this is a really good sunscreen for reapplication obviously this will not this cannot be your primary sunscreen application this has to be a secondary sunscreen application i don't feel anything on my skin whenever whenever i use it so so lightweight it's not heavy i always like to carry this in my bag in the lip care category i just have the niche to talk about because this is what i've been using and i still use i've emptied the berry variant do you want an empties video let me know but i have emptied this out completely i've cleaned it i've cleaned it up and i have started using i've started using another one in the sweet candy variant i really, really like it i'm mentioning these two because sweet candy one and the berry one is my favorite then i have the lip glowy balm if you don't like the if you don't like dipping your finger and using a lip balm you can go for the lip glowy balm because it comes in applicator like this um i've really really used it used the crap out of this and i have used pretty much most of it maybe like one percent i do one percent of it i find the sleeping masks I tend to like the sleeping masks more, even though I don't like the feeling of always putting your dipping your finger and applying it. But maybe I've used it for a really long time. So I like this one's a little, like just a little bit. And uh, maybe I'm just crazy because the formula of these two don't have much difference. Even this is a thick lip sleeping mask. I think that I like maybe a little bit more. Whenever I use any Laneige balm, the next day I have pillowy soft baby lips wow guys i think we have made it to the end of today's video if you have any holy grail korean skincare product that you love i would love to know about it please leave them in the comments down below and if you've watched till far you are the real ones i'll leave this emoji in the comments down below thank you so much for watching this video love you so much wait up for my next recommendations video and i'll see you very very soon in my next video mm -hmm.